Welcome to this last video in the Intro to Sub-D Modeling series. I'm John Hardigan. I'll finish the monster today by giving him a face. To do that, I'll be using the Sub-D Box Primitives and the Surface Edit Trim Tool, and along with some uh, transforming CVs or vertices. So let's start by getting into the front view. And I'm going to turn off the body so we can see what we're doing. And then we'll start with the Sub-D Box Primitive. I'll do a one by one by one to start. And I'll just drop that there. I'll scale it down proportionately. And that's pretty good. And we'll scale it up this way and move it over a little bit. That's pretty good. And I'll do a control C, control V to make a copy. And we'll transform that copy to the other side. And you can see we're not symmetrical. So I'll just move him up a little bit right there. We'll call that good. And we'll do another sub D box primitive for the mouth. Put that there. Scale it down to about the thickness of the mouth there. Scale it out. And we're gonna need more subdivisions here to get that smile. So I'll change the Y spans to three. And then we'll grab some vertices and start moving those around. I'm gonna use global. Put that up there. And the other side, there. Okay, I'm gonna call that good for now. I might make it a little thicker here just to make sure that it, oops, I need to select the object. And then I'll transform that and scale it this way so we make sure that we'll intersect the body when we get to that. Now I'll select all three of these objects and turn the body back on. And now let's transform those and yeah, to see that, make sure that we're intersecting the body well. I'm going to rotate this. That's good. I'm going to hold Shift and deselect the mouth and switch back to pivot. And then I'm going to pull the eyes back until they intersect the body. And this one I'm going to move just a little bit more. There we go. That looks pretty good. So now all that's left to do is a, a little trimming operation. So we'll go to Surface Edit Trim. I'm going to use 3D trimming and intersect. I'll select one of these eyes, the body. I'll select the eye and trim that. And we'll do the other eye. Space bar to do that. And now the mouth. And now I'll trim the body out to the eyes and mouth. And there we have it. And I can select these and I'll turn off the CVs and then if we just go to wireframe you can see that it indeed did trim out all four entities let me go back to shade that and I'll toggle the model and there we go we've finished our monster so just to recap we used sub D primitive box and surface edit tool and a little uh, moving of the vertices so I hope you've enjoyed this series and good luck in your modeling